The Redmi Note 10 was a hugely popular phone last year because it brought AMOLED and some good all-round specs under 15K. Now the Redmi Note 11 has arrived and this too starts at Rs 13,499. So is it an upgrade or is it a downgrade? Well, I'll answer that in the conclusion. So this is the phone right here and design-wise, not a lot has changed. The back is still plastic and it's matte and there's this fine pattern here for a nice grip. It's also a very handy phone like the Note 10, lightweight and slim and as you can see, the sides are kind of flat now. Other than that, the Redmi Note 11 has the fingerprint scanner and the power button. The IR sensor is on the top like most Redmi phones. There's a headphone jack on the bottom. The SIM slot is a dual SIM plus micro SD dedicated slot and there's symmetrical stereo speakers. One on the bottom and one on the top. Now this is definitely better than having the secondary speaker in the earpiece. Also this whole design is IP53 rated for splash resistance. Now looks are kind of subjective but which one do you like more, the new Note 11 or the Note 10? Comment below. Anyway the front is where the actual upgrade lies. There's still AMOLED which is a big USP in this price range and Redmi has gone a step further to add the 90Hz refresh rate. Now this is very good because I've always wanted AMOLED displays in this segment and a 90Hz AMOLED is just even better. As for display quality, the display is crisp and nice. The peak brightness is 1000 nits, which is 100 nits lower than the display in the Redmi Note 10. But that's fine because this display here looks good. Apart from that, it has the Wide Wide Edwin license for so Netflix Prime Video, play movies and shows at 1080p. The next change in the Redmi Note 11 is the new chipset. These are specs of the phone and the Snapdragon 680 is what's new here. And first of all, here are the benchmark scores of the phone. And as you can see, the 680 is not exactly an upgrade on the performance front. The 678 actually scores higher. So why did Redmi use this chipset in the Redmi Note 11? Well, it looks like they used the Snapdragon 680 because of four reasons. Number one, the Snapdragon 680 is a six nanometer chipset, which means it should be more power efficient when compared to the Snapdragon 678, which was a 11 nanometer chipset. I ran the CPU throttling test app on the Note 11 and Note 10 for 15 minutes, and the Note 11 lost 6% battery, while the Note 10 lost 8% battery. Second, the Snapdragon 680 has support for 90 Hz displays, while the 678 lagged that. Third, it has a better ISP. The Snapdragon 680 has the Spectra 346 ISP, while the 678 has the Spectra 250L ISP. Fourth, the Snapdragon 680 has support for multiple wake words. Now this is interesting because this means that apart from Google Assistant, you can also use Alexa as your hands-free voice assistant on the Redmi Note 11. All you need to do is download the Alexa app. You can download it right away from the link in the description down below. I have it installed on the Redmi Note 11 and after I've signed into my Amazon account, it asks me if I want to use Alexa hands-free. Now I can just train my voice here, give it the permission it needs and that's it. Now I can use Alexa hands-free on the home screen or in fact any screen I am on and I can even use Alexa when the phone is properly locked. As you can see, the device wakes up with Alexa even when it's locked. Now this is good because I know a lot of people use Alexa at their home, so this can work as your Alexa device everywhere. So I can say, Alexa, turn on the tube light. And it works no matter where I am. Now it's full blown Alexa, so I can also say things like, Alexa, play some music. And yeah, it starts to play the music on Amazon Music. Alexa, open the camera app. Yeah, you can even open apps on your phone with Alexa. Alexa, make a call. So yeah, it works, which means you can use all the Alexa features, even the useful Alexa skills like Just Watch. Alexa, ask Just Watch to search for Eternals. In India, Eternals 2021 movie is available on Hotstar. Would you like to search for something else? Now this is good because I know a lot of people who use Alexa in their homes. So the Redmi Note 11 supporting it as a wake word, it makes sense. Plus, if you have not tried Alexa yet, this is a good way to just try it on your phone. I mean, you saw the setup process, it's simple and easy. You'll find all these details in the link below as well. As for day-to-day -day performance, the Note 11 seems fine in my usage so far. There was a little stutter when switching between refresh rates, but other than that, it's been good. As for BGMI, the phone does not support HD graphics and the max you can go is balanced. I played a few games at Smooth and the game was playable. Anyway, like I said, the Snapdragon 680 also has a better ISP and I think that's the reason Note 11 also brings a new 50 megapixel main camera. Now, I haven't really compared photos, but from the few photos I've taken, the Note 11's camera seems good for the price, especially in good lighting. I mean, these photos in daytime look pretty good, don't they? In low light, things are kind of average, but it's expected for a phone under 15K. Now, these are just a few photos though. I think we'll get a better idea once we've compared it to another phone. 
One thing to note here is that the rear camera only shoots 1080p videos, which is kind of strange because the Note 10 had 4K video recording support. As for the other cameras, here are a few ultra wide angle shots and I know they don't have the best details, but for a budget phone, it's okay color wise. I also took a few selfies from the phone to give you an idea. So yeah, just take a look. Moving on to the software, the Redmi Note 11 is the first phone in India to come with the new MIUI 13 update, but it's based on Android 11. Now MIUI 13 on the Redmi Note 11 is not a huge update, it's decent because you get the performance improvements like better RAM management, better read write speeds in the long run and there are a couple of new features but that's pretty much it. All the other features that we talked about in our MIUI 13 video, be it the app updates or the new widgets, they aren't here in India. Maybe they'll come in a future update or maybe they'll be a part of flagship phones only, I'm not sure. As for software support, Redmi has confirmed the Android 12 update for the Redmi Note 11, but we asked about the long-term support and we haven't got an answer yet, so we're still waiting on that. Apart from that, the Redmi Note 11 has the same battery as the 10 and the charger is upgraded. There's a 33 watt Pro Fast Charger and it's called Pro because it uses the new MMT tech and can charge the phone from 0 to 100% in around 60 minutes. When it comes to network and connectivity, I think you already know that this is a 4G phone, which is fine. And as for carrier aggregation, I checked and it does support it, as you can see here in the NetMonster app. Now coming to the conclusion, is the Redmi Note 11 a good successor to the Redmi Note 10? Is it an upgrade or is it a downgrade? Well, it's a bit of both. Look, there are some good upgrades. The AMOLED, which was the USP of the last Redmi Note, is here. And this time it's 90 hertz, which at this price is very good. The 50 megapixel main camera is also an upgrade and I also like the slightly faster charger. Coming to downgrades, there's no 4K on the back, there's Android 11, but at this price, these are kind of fine. Now, if you look at the benchmarks, you might feel the chipset is a slight downgrade, but I don't think it's right to say that because it's bringing some good things. It's a 6 nanometer chipset with a better ISP, which should mean better battery and better cameras. Look, overall, the Redmi Note 10 was a good phone and the Redmi Note 11 at the same price is still a fairly well-balanced smartphone at 13-14K. But I want to know what you guys think of the Redmi Note 11 at its price. So comment down below and let us know your thoughts. Also, like this video, make sure to share it and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. We installed Windows 11 on an Android phone. This is a OnePlus 60 running Windows 11 and everything.